what's up YouTubers, Lee John Blackmore here. This week we're doing Cocaine by Eric Clapton, actually written by JJ Kale. But this is kind of a bit of a hybrid version, okay? Bit of Eric Clapton in there, bit of JJ Kale in there. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So there's a few different ways you can play this, all right? So um, on the original track, the original Eric Clapton track, there's kind of lots of layers of guitars. The kind of basic version of that will just be this power chord. And all I'm doing, I'm playing this, you can play it a two finger power chord. So it's just on the A and D string, okay, the fifth and fourth. And that starts on the seventh fret. So my first finger's on the seventh, and my third finger's on the ninth. And I'm only playing the strings I've got my fingers on, okay? So it's down, down, then you slide that whole position to five then the whole position back again to seven. Seven, seven, five, seven. Then go down to five and play one. Okay, so what I'm, I was actually doing, I was playing the pinky underneath that as well. So where your third finger lands in the ninth fret, you can actually put your pinky underneath on the G string, and then you can hit three strings. And that just sounds a little bit bigger. Okay, sometimes you see people covering the two middle strings, the the pink, uh, the the G and the D string. It's a little bit harder, but you know. So sometimes you see people doing that, or just use the two fingers. That's fine. So we've got. So we kind of go one, two, one, one. One, but you see there's kind of like a little, you have to wait for a little bit, a little pause, so it goes, pause, and da, da, da. beat. the easiest way for remembering it. So the section I'm doing with the down up, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just, you know, down up, down, down up, down up. It doesn't really matter what you do there, you can just hang out on it. Beat. So there I just say down, up, down, up, or beat. Okay, and that's kind of, you know, you don't really hear them doing that on the original track, but there's lots of other, there's lots of other kind of sections going along in the background. And that's just to fill out the gaps, really. Beat. Then I did. So the second time around, I go in. Beat. Then I'm sliding from this five to seven, and then finishing on five. So all together, beat, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, beat. So that slide is just, I'm keeping my fingers pressed down and sliding up to the seventh. And sometimes you might, you might miss it. So I'm always watching my first finger and where it's gonna land, okay? So kind of just practice that with one finger, then add the third behind it. And always keep pressed down, not too hard. So you, you don't want that, you just want, okay? Okay, 
Then there's this kind of little riff he does. Uh, I was doing it a little bit differently. Or, so I can go straight back into the riff. So all that is, and I'm hammering on, or you can pluck it, no, no worries, either way, to the second fret. I kind of do two there. O, two, two, O. Then I hit the third fret on the bottom E. Then slide up on the A string, kind of from about two or three, back up to seven. Then I'm ready for that riff again. So slowly. And the chorus is really easy, it just goes down. So seven, five, three, two. So it's like quick at the end. Slow, 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 quick. And it's back to the beginning. So if you know the pentatonic, you can play you know, mess around with that pentatonic across it. If you can fit it in. And so on, all right? I'm just improvising there, guys. So you saw me doing open chords as well. And that's kind of cool. I kind of play this version if I do it live, on the acoustic anyway. So I'm playing an E, and I'm bringing away my second and third finger, and then putting them back on. Down, down, off, leave my first finger, and putting them back on. And then one more on the end, so slowly it'll be down, down, off, down. Then I'm playing a D sus2. D sus2 is really easy. It's just like normal D chord. But I'm removing my third finger to get that top E ringing out underneath. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That kind of thing on the end. Can just mess around with it there's no there's no rhythm in particular it's just hanging out for the right right space of time so that d sus2 you can slide it if you've got a cutaway it helps you can slide it right up to the uh, 14th fret, so my first finger is in the 14th fret, my third finger is now in the 15th, or you could make that a D minor shape, so my first finger would be in the 12th fret. It doesn't sound too cool down there, but up there it works. Sorry. For the chorus, you can play that in open chords. E, she don't mind. She don't D. She don't C. C chord. Then finish it off with a B5. Okay, which is just your power chord at the second fret. It's exactly the same as that. Seven, five, three, two. Okay, so you could go E. B. The 
So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. I do these lessons every single week. I just want to say thank you so much for all your support. I love getting the messages from you guys. Keep them coming. I really, really appreciate it. And I love to hear how well you're getting on with the songs and all the requests. Obviously, I can't do all the requests, guys. I only have a couple of videos I put out a week. But um, keep them coming in. You know, like I said, I love to hear from you. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.